Hi. This video is about DoorSlam, a distributed, online and outlier resilient simultaneous localization and mapping system for robotic teams. DoorSlam offers a practical solution to localize teams of robots without relying on an external positioning system and with minimal information exchange. We release the source code and Docker images for an easy reuse of the system components by the community. DoorSlam is a distributed SLAM system with an outlier rejection mechanism that can work with less conservative parameters. The system is based on peer-to-peer -peer communication and does not require full connectivity among the robots. DoorSlam includes two key modules. The first is a distributed pose graph optimizer combined with a distributed pairwise consistent measurement set maximization algorithm to reject spurious inter-robot loop closures. The second is a data-efficient peer-to-peer SLAM front-end to detect inter-robot loop closures. Multi-robot SLAM is challenging and prone to failures due to incorrect data association and perceptual aliasing. Those phenomenons add spurious measurements among the inter-robot loop closures and can lead to the failure of the SLAM estimator. In our field experiments, we encountered such spurious measurements and, as you can see on the figure on the left, it produces a dramatic distortion of the estimated trajectories. However, Using DoorSlam distributed outlier rejection mechanism, we are able to recover the correct trajectory estimates as shown on the right. We tested our system extensively in an Argos simulation to study the effect of the threshold parameter used to reject outliers. In this figure, we can see that using a threshold too low leads to the rejection of valid measurement while a higher threshold can lead to the acceptance of spurious measurements which can cause the failure of the system. Another benefit of DoorSlam is that we don't need to use conservative parameters in the front end to avoid outliers. Indeed, we can leverage the robust back end to tolerate spurious measurements, and hopefully obtain more valid measurements in the end. As we can see on those figures, even though most of the new measurements are outliers, we obtain more valid measurements with less conservative parameters. We also tested DoorSlam in underground environments in the context of the DARPA Subterranean Challenge. As you can see, our results show once again the robustness of our SLAM backend to spurious measurements. Finally, we performed live experiments with door SLAM on a football field with two DJI Matrix 100 each equipped with a NVIDIA Jetson TX2 and Intel RealSense D435. In this video, you can see the trajectory executed by the two robots and the resulting estimate. Thank you for your attention.